A new section has just appeared in multiplayer. I guess this is the challenges that they spoke about during the update. So one versus one battles. Same car rank. Choose a car. Play until you get three losses or claim vi 12 victories. And then there's some blueprints to win. Some credits, some tokens. Let's see what happens if I do a race. What is this? Play. Pick a car. I don't like the Apollo. Play. Oh, how cool is this? This is so cool. How is that fair? He's in a Venino. I'm in a McLaren. They must be regulated ranks. No special tricks would needed to be done in the race. It looks like it's just win the race. Oh, it's a two lap race. I guess there'll just be a lot of giving up if you're losing. That's flat around. Oh! <laughs> So what happens when you, after one race then, tournament programs, one win, one loss. I skipped the first race, I had a problem and it triggered it as a loss. And now I've got to use the same car through the hole. Third in a row. When do I get something? So at four victories you get a blueprint. Oh no, you get something from these packs. Let's see what happens after four then. Hopefully I'll win the next one. So now we win something, having done four victories. I still don't win anything. Oh no, it just gets better. Cool. I wish I wasn't in the McLaren SLR. 
I didn't know I would have to race the car for the whole of all 12 races. Other people got... He's got Le Ferrari. And he's cheating. But you're a cheater. I'm not racing with a cheater. Not on challenges. Count that as a loss. This game mode is screwed if there are hackers. Come on, Game Loft, do something about hackers. Doing a spin like that often gives you like a pirouette around the other car, slows him down and you sort of ballet round him. just got to basically hope you only meet two hackers in 12 races. So if I meet another hacker, it will be my third loss and then I have to start again. Congratulations, Tuna Mayo. So I'm out, but I got five wins. Do I get something? Continue playing from the current stage and earn greater rewards. Or claim. Get nothing. Join again in 10 hours. Okay. So once you claim the reward, you're locked out for 10 hours from playing challenges again. Now that I know that, does it change my decision on whether I would have pressed continue or claim? No, because the rewards weren't worth 300 tokens to me, I don't think. And I'll still get to play again in 10 hours. Good luck guys, I'm madder than you.